The truly untimely demise of Ratanji Tata has saddened many a heart. Though he has many an anecdote revealing his philanthropist lifestyle, I would like to share one or two as a tribute to this greatest of noble souls. One of these goes like this. When the Indian billionaire Ratan Tata was asked by a radio presenter in telephone interview, Sir, what do you remember when you felt happiest and most contented in your life? Ratanji Tata said, I have gone through four stages of happiness in life to understand the meaning of true happiness. The first stage was to accumulate wealth and resources. But at this stage I didn't get the happiness that I wanted. Then came the second stage of collecting valuables and items. But I realized that the effect of this thing is also temporary and the luster of precious things does not last long. Then came the third phase of getting a big project. That was when I had 95% of the diesel supply in India and Africa. I was also the owner of the largest steel factory in India and Asia. But even here I did not get the happiness that I had imagined. The fourth stage was when a friend of mine asked me to buy a few wheelchairs for some disabled children. At the behest of the friend, I immediately bought a few wheelchairs. But the friend insisted that I go with him and hand over the wheelchairs to them personally. Reluctantly, I got ready to go with him. When I gave the wheelchairs to the children, I saw a strange glow of happiness on their faces. I saw them all sitting in wheelchairs, walking and having fun. It was as if they had reached a picnic spot, where they were sharing winning gift. I felt real happiness inside me. When I decided to leave, one of the kids grabbed my legs. I tried to slowly release my legs, but the child looked at my face and held my legs tight. I leaned over and asked the child, Do you need anything else? The answer this kid gave me not only shocked me but also completely changed my outlook towards life. This child said, Nothing else, sir. But I want to remember your face so that when I meet you in heaven, I can recognize you and thank you once again.